Black woman shot dead by Texas police through bedroom window. A neighbor of the victim was concerned her front door was left open. A lawyer for Ms. Jefferson's family said she was very close to her family. Police released images of a weapon found inside the bedroom. News from BBC. All photos may not represent the story. Watch to learn English the way you've learned your mother tongue as this video is especially made. A black woman was shot dead by police through a bedroom window on Saturday morning, following a request to check on her welfare. A Tatiana Jefferson aged 28 had been staying at the Fort Worth residence with her 8-year-old nephew. A neighbor said he called a non-emergency number after becoming worried in the early hours about an open door. Police have released body cam footage of the incident, which shows a confrontation lasting only seconds. The clip shows officers circulating the perimeter of the residential property and spotting a figure at the window. After demanding the person put their hands up, an officer then fired a shot through the glass. The Fort Worth Police Department said in a statement that the officer, who is a white man, had perceived a threat when he drew his weapon. He has been placed on administrative leave pending an investigation, officials added. The shooting happened at about 2.30 local time, 7.30 Greenwich Mean Time, on Saturday morning. Although it is edited, the body cam footage does not appear to show the officers identifying themselves as police. It does not show footage from inside the property but includes images of a weapon that police say they found inside the bedroom. It is unclear if Ms. Jefferson was holding a weapon at the time, but firearm possession is legal for people aged over 18 in Texas. Police said officers provided emergency medical care to Ms. Jefferson at the scene, but she was declared dead at the property. Playing video games The 28-year-old had been playing video games with her nephew before she went to investigate the noise outside at the window, according to a lawyer representing her family. Her mom had recently gotten very sick, so she was home taking care of the house and loving her life, lawyer Lee Merritt said on Facebook. There was no reason for her to be murdered. None. We must have justice. Ms. Jefferson was a university graduate who was working in pharmaceutical equipment sales, he added. The shooting comes less than two weeks after an off-duty Dallas police officer was jailed for shooting a black man, Bothan Jean, dead in his own apartment. Democratic presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke, himself from Texas, has spoken out about Ms. Jefferson's death. As we mourn with Atadiana's loved ones, we must demand accountability and promise to fight until no family has to face a tragedy like this again," he posted on Twitter. The National Association for the Advancement of Colored People NAACP, labeled Ms. Jefferson's death unacceptable. Neighbor James Smith aged 62 said he had checked the property himself before calling police, but failed to spot movement inside. I'm shaken. I'm mad. I'm upset. And I feel it's partly my fault," Mr. Smith told the Star-Telegram newspaper about requesting the welfare check. If I had never dialed the police department, she'd still be alive. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.